Hello engineers and welcome back to the DevSecOps series. So in our previous videos, we have learned about SAST and SCA and how to use different tools like Sonar Cube and dependency check to enable these particular uh, security checks in our uh, you know projects. So let's say if I want to not use different tools and uh, let's say whatever I have uh, you know used as a version control system if it is a github so is there any feature that i can enable which would trigger sast as well as sca for me okay instead of i you know explicitly have uh, uh, to configure uh, any of these different tools and i don't want to do that i just want something to do uh, my job easy so today we will be learning about these uh, advanced security features which are provided by the github which would enable you to perform sast static application security testing sca software composition analysis as well as secret detection so one more feature we will learn about which is you know if a developer commits a certain password or access token in the repository then you know should be coming up in uh, this particular i mean it should be detected in the uh, you know repository and it should be shown that okay now you have exposed a, a api token and then if uh, that particular feature is available we can you know then take it back or we can remove it from over there or we can then uh, revoke it and change that particular uh, stuff that is what we will be learning about in our today's video so let's start with GHAS GitHub Advanced Security. So we will quickly go to the uh, tab we have in Chrome and in our uh, project let me just move over here and you can see i have uploaded a sample vulnerable project in the repository uh, okay first we will go in this particular devsecops series hands-on project and see what do we have over here in the docs so let's go to the github advanced security tab and here you can find github advanced security configuration guide okay how do you have to enable all these uh, advanced security features for your repositories so before reading this i'll show you what application are we having so we can go in this repository tab and you can clone this application and uh, you know push it or fork it uh, in your account so there is a vulnerable web app that i have uploaded and you can see this is a, a node application node.js application okay and uh, specifically do not use this particular code in your production because it has vulnerabilities like this mentioned over here okay so this is how we will learn so now what do we have to do to enable the configuration so uh, first of all you will have certain prerequisites now github security features would only come with uh, either enterprise plan if you have private repositories or public repositories have free access for this particular uh, certain limit uh, that they have so you can uh, enable these features if you have admin permissions on the uh, project group uh, then you what you have to do is enable github advanced security uh, for your organization or repository by going into repository settings advanced security and then enable certain features so what are the three different features that we are talking about sast sca and secret scanning so in github advanced security we have code ql which is used for sast then we have dependabot which is uh, which is used for sca and then there is secret scanning it is the name itself used to scan the secrets so you have to remember what is code ql code ql is github semantic code analysis engine that automatically discovers vulnerabilities in your code so that is what you have to remember so code based vulnerabilities you will need to enable code ql so what how to do it go to the advanced security uh, tab okay so uh, in a, in your project base you have to i mean this is your repository right you have to go into the settings tab okay i'll just zoom it a bit and then you have to find advanced security tab over here 
now once you go on this particular tab you have to find what you have to find code scanning section so where is it here we can find the code scanning section now how to enable you see code ql analysis is there and other tools uh, third party scanning tools you can also add so if you want to explore more uh, what uh, tools you can add uh, apart from code ql is uh, code as a security scan sonar clouds uh, sneak security 45 sonar cube api sec scan or, or these different things okay black duck uh, so a lot of different tools you can see and you can try out few of them if you don't know the name of these things vera code is also one very good uh, source for us uh, SAS, okay shift anchor shift s bomb scanner so a lot of different tools so you can uh, keep this in the backdrop uh, if you want to learn more security tools for certain purpose okay but for now what we have to do is we have to set up uh, configuration for code ql so i'll go with the default configuration that i have i don't want to you know explicitly uh, add any configurations as such right now so i'll uh, you know start this uh, default configuration and it shows that it has uh, identified javascript or typescript application default uh, queries would be running against our application and then enable code ql now this will start uh, to identify vulnerabilities in your code okay identify vulnerabilities and error with code ql so it is setting up right now next we will check uh, what is next uh, dependa bot configuration so as i mentioned dependa bot helps you keep dependencies okay one is for your code another one is for your dependencies uh, updated and security by automatically creating pull request and vulnerabilities that are detected so we will see how to enable it uh, let's go back again in advanced security tab and depend about section in our project so again here we are in the security settings okay advanced security and then we'll see depend about uh, stuff so now we have to enable all these things that you can see over here okay depend about alerts let's enable this then we have to uh, again update depend about security updates so you can see what are the different features okay we can get over here okay receive alerts for vulnerabilities that affect your dependencies okay uh, which are uh, then created i mean detected sorry and then manually generate depend about pull request to resolve this vulnerability so uh, if you do not want to manually update okay enabling this option here security updates will automatically attempt to open pull request so if you don't want to do it manually uh, you can uh, enable these things okay if you want to do it manually then you can uh, disable this one so okay that's why it is important to run then group security updates you will see uh, depend about alerts would be given and it would you know pull all this uh, request in single uh, merge that is what we say okay then there are version updates say let's say allow depend about to open pull request automatically to keep, keep your dependencies up to date when new versions are available so it will check against if uh, whatever uh, is included in these uh, cages okay if there is any new version available in the open source market then it will try to uh, you know create a new pull request out of it so that's what it is it is showing us so and then depend about action runners then run depend about security version updates on action runners that it says so i'll just enable two different uh, uh, things uh, depend about alerts and security updates so let's see if there is anything so previously if you have noticed there were three uh, things detected right now we can see 29 uh, uh, stuff are highlighted okay so it says last scan was one minute ago and now uh, two more things that i said uh, which is secret scanning configuration so how to enable these things uh, again go to that particular tab and enable this secret scanning uh, and push protection so here we can see secret protection is uh, by default enabled uh, the stuff in the security tab you used to see that three were already detected because it is by default enabled in your uh, repositories and push protection will you know do one thing block commits that contain supported uh, contains this particular kind of supported secret that it detects so now let's see what are the different findings we can see in the security tab let's go oh my god there are a lot of things that it detects okay you can see depend about detected 26 vulnerabilities code scanning code ql detected 11 vulnerabilities and secret scanning detected three things 
that it found vulnerable in our application so let's first go with the code scanning you can see over here uh, it is showing that certain critical uh, you know vulnerabilities were found uh, there were missing rate limits for this particular thing using password okay these are high well high kind of vulnerabilities okay so 11 vulnerabilities were detected and we can see where is uncontrolled command line it shows ping is used okay and uh, then uh, okay you will see if there are any recommended fixes for this particular thing so here you can see a uh, code that passes untrusted and input you can read this if possible use apis that don't run shell commands and all these things you can see this we can um, you know implement instead of that particular uh, code base that you can see over here so these are the recommendations that it gives okay it will first find uh, the vulnerabilities then give you recommendation as you also have seen in sonar cube uh, server okay so the same thing goes over here they will recommend you and show you what are the weaknesses okay cwe 78 is been found and what is that improper neutralization of special elements used in os command so that is why uh, you know different weaknesses are being found out okay in your applications so that that's one thing and again if we go back and uh, now we have seen about code okay so one is uh, you can then fix this particular thing okay or mark them uh, any way you want let's see what depend about found out oh my god there are a lot of critical and high uh, vulnerabilities that are detected by depend about so these are your dependencies that it have found out okay mongoose search injection vulnerability it has found out okay uh so it says bump mongoose to 5.7 dot 5 to 6.3 dots uh, 13.6 so merging this pull request okay as i told you first it will detect the vulnerabilities uh, vulnerable components and then second is to create the pull request to update them so it shows over here that you can review this security update and there are certain pull requests uh, that it shows okay to uh, update this uh, bump mongoose 5.7.5 uh, to 6.13.6 and then jquery express handlebar lodash what's this name okay so you can either uh, you know uh, approve this particular pull request okay or you can reject okay let's got it depend about is doing this certain thing and you can merge this particular pull request and then no conflict with base branch that is what it says all checks have passed neutralized you can add a comment okay or you can close this particular pull request if you don't want to do it right away so uh, that is one thing you can see what are the commits what is uh, it is checking okay and what are the different files that is changed okay lodash is sorry that's a really bad name so you can review these changes and add your comments or either close this particular request so that is what we can do so that is uh, depend about uh, features okay to detect them and then to uh, you know uh, fix them uh, in place so that is one thing and then secret scanning is the another one that we can see is uh, finding out certain leak uh secrets from your application so it says mailchimp api key is found so publicly leak secret is what it has detected and rotate the secret if it's in use to prevent breaking workflows or uh, you know we have added a lot of different things so if it was a supported uh what we say uh, uh, format of uh, secret then it would have detected otherwise we have a lot of things okay o auth credential for google auth client secret is also there but it is not showing i'm not sure where it is showing uh okay google auth is not being there okay otherwise it could detect a lot of different uh secrets as well so here it says rotate the secret or revoke this mongodb uri and credentials through mongodb to prevent unauthorized access and all this thing check security logs for potential breaches and close the alert as revoked okay so close as revoked or used in test you can see if you want to flag that this is only for test purpose then you can do this thing or then you can see false positive is also there and i won't fix so if i said okay used in test no harm 
sorry no h a r m using this token okay then i'll i can close this particular alert and then it will go back out of here okay it now shows only two secret uh, uh that are detected now you can see that i have added some of the secrets to this particular project group and now i try to add it i mean add a one particular uh, uh commit to that particular thing with these files okay and deploy it of home and all these things and now see the uh secret push protection feature that we enabled uh now you know you see here it is not allowing us showing that there is a violation and github push protection is enabled push cannot contain a secret right so this is how uh our uh, push is been blocked and you see here what it is showing is uh, slack api token is being shown at this particular path okay line number 17 and um, you know fail to push some uh, reference to this particular application so that is why you know uh, you have to enable these particular features so that you can um, you know uh, help the development team in you know securing the application overall so that's how you can uh, you know use this particular github advanced security for uh, different kind of features as i mentioned and now here you can also read these vulnerabilities okay what are the outdated components and weak insecurities and hard-coded apis were passed along with this okay and this is uh, how you enable all these three features for a particular application so i guess uh, that's it for our today's video and uh, now we have covered three different topics that you can uh, you know uh, use in your uh, experience as well so let's see uh, what we have covered till now so in our uh, uh, playlist if you go over here uh, in the devsecops playlist we have covered almost uh devsecops series uh 13 topics we have covered sast with sonar cube the previous one was uh, uh, uh sca with dependency check that i will upload with this particular video which uh, we are doing right now uh for, for the uh, you know code ql and depend about as well so ghs as well as dependency check will come together and yeah uh we are pretty much covering a lot of different topics right now and we are uh, moving into major implementation phase so i would like you guys to try out these things you can of course fork this particular project and uh, you know use it for your uh, uh, testing purpose or also if you have any application created for your own self then you can uh, you know try out these things so that's all i guess for today's video and uh, I would love to hear back from you and if you um, use this particular features let me know how do you you know used it to secure your application and uh, found out a certain kind of vulnerabilities or so so yeah uh, see you guys in uh, some another video in next video i guess we will be discussing about um, either dust or any other tool so until then uh, keep learning and i'll sign off now Bye guys.